Welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we're looking at the, um, the art of rigging. What it basically means is we are going to have a mesh, like um, a, a box, or in this case today a worm, a tube, and we are going to be putting bones inside it. Like the bones in a human, you've got like arm bones, and you've got like leg bones. When the bones bend, the skin bends with it. That's exactly what we're doing today. We're going to get a tube, we're going to be putting bones inside it, and the tube on the outside will be the skin. So the mesh is going to be the skin, and the bones on the inside, otherwise known as the armature, is going to be the thing doing the bending around. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to move these guys around a little bit, just so we can actually see some more um, bits and pieces. Right, I'm going to hit the X key. I'm going to get rid of that box. Yes, I want to delete it, so I left clicked it. I'm going to go to Shift A and I'm going to be adding a tube. Now, once I do the tube, you can see here that um, a few options. There's, um, there's the vertices, in other words, um, the amount of dots around the top, the radius, that big there, depth. I'm going to actually make it a bit bigger. So we're going to bring it up to, let's say, um, seven. Okay, it's so about seven, tall. And what we're also going to do is, uh, nothing there for now. now we're going to go to edit mode. Press the tab key or go down here to object edit mode. And you can see right now that this is our tube and the inner workings of it. There's the 32 vertices around the top. Okay. And that has made it round. Okay. But we're going to want this tube to be able to bend in the middle, right through here. I'm going to press the A key to um, unselect everything. And I'm going to press the control R key. What I've done right now is I've made a ring, a circle, cut right around the middle. If I leave it with only one cut there, it means my tube can only bend in the middle. All right, I'm going to, um, now, this only works if you've got a mouse wheel button. I'm going to spin the wheel button, and I'm, instead of making just um, one cut, I'm making a whole heap. Doesn't matter exactly how many you add, we're just going to go through and put a whole heap in there. Click. Okay, oh, as you can see there, it's made 10 cuts. Beautiful. Step two, we're going to go out here, and you'll see the tube looks exactly the same as it did before. Go to the view mode, we're going to go and look from the front, and I'm also, for the sake of the day, going to put it into perspective mode. Remember, you can just go, if you've got a keyboard, uh, like a number pad at the side of your keyboard, which I don't because I'm on a laptop here, then you can press the number five key and bam, you're into perspective view. That means I'm looking straight into it and I'm not seeing any depth. Right, I'm going to press Shift A and instead of going up here, we're going to be going through and putting in an armature. I'm going to make a single bone. This bone inside there, which we can't see right now, is going to be the thing that's bending the tube around. Right, now we need some details. I can't see inside there right now. I'm going to press the Z key. Z key puts it into wireframe mode, which I could also have access just down there. In other words, everything appears as wires, but, um, outlines, and there's no depth to it, there's nothing blocking it. What I could have also done was in solid mode, see how I can't see the bone on the inside of the tube? It's in there, but I can't see it. Okay, I can go ahead and put it into a um, X ray mode. So, see down here, I've clicked the little skeleton, the armature thing, and I'm going to go and click X-Ray. So now I can see right through it. I can still see into the center of that tube, and so the, the bone's still there. Okay, I'm going back into um, to front view again. I'm going to roll my mouse to go out again. I'm going to drag this down to the bottom, and then I'm going to go and hit the... Oh, I need to go into edit mode. Then I'm going to hit the E key. E is a name for extrude, like before. But instead of extruding out other stuff, I'm extruding the bone straight upwards. Well, almost straight upwards. How do I do that? Well, see the Z down there? I want to extrude it only in the Z axis. So I'm going to hit Z. And I'm not going to be very, very precise here. I'm going to hit E again, Z, to make it only go up and down. And I'm just going to go through and put um, a couple of bones in here. E, Z, make it up and down. E, Z, and one little bone for the top, E, 
and Z. So what I've done is I've gone through and created by well, one phone, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to hit the N key here in this in this window. You know that first phone there? Um, it has got um, a name. Its name is Bone. Okay, I'm going to call it Bone One. Bone One. I'm going to click in here. I'm going to call it on there Bone Number Two. See how it's given a, a, a like a special code name? That's all good. We don't want that special code name. We want to give it our own one. And I'll explain why later. So we're going to go through, select the next one, Bone Three. Next one, right clicking, remember, Bone Four. And Bone Five. I know this is boring. Trust me, the good stuff's coming. And bone number six. Oopsie. Done. Okay, so those bones there have been given names. Okay, watch very closely. This is a good part. I'm going to tab out. Oopsie, sorry. I'm um, going in here. Tab out. So now I'm back into object mode again. Watch closely. I am going to. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and select the bone, sorry, the, the tube. Okay, right click there. I'm going to shift, here hold, let it hold the shift key down and select the bone itself. And then I'm going to press the control P key. Now, at the moment, what I'm doing is I'm going to make the bones and the tube, the worm, associated with each other. Okay, so tube first, bone second. Okay, hit the control P key, and then I'm going to give automatic weights for this tutorial today. Ping! What that means now is that if I click on the um, on the bones inside the worm, I can actually go into control tab or go into pose mode. Control tab is like the fast way. And now I can press the R key, and you'll find that when I move the bone, the tube moves along with it. And you'll see that it's actually bending along the tube, uh, sorry, along the, um, the lines we put in it before. Right click there, R, okay, excellent. Right click there, R, excellent. And that's the, the absolute basics of rigging. But I want to show you something really, really cool. You know how I hit that automatic thing before? Well, what I did then was, I actually made this tube on the outside have associations, bleh, associations with the bones. You know, if we go into edit mode, okay, this is the um, all the the vertices. Well, if you go into the vertices group thing, oh man! You know when I went and renamed the bones before, I named them like bone one, bone two. I forgot to press enter. There's a there's a bad habit of mine. You've got to press enter, otherwise it doesn't rename the bones. Anyway, here we go. You know how bone one is that bone down there? Well, if I go over here and press A to unselect all, and then I go over here into these vertex groups, remember that's the same sort of stuff, well, sorry, similar sort of stuff as we looked back in, um, in the materials thing, when we were applying materials to a certain part. Then go assign, oh, hit the wrong button, don't hit assign, go select. Then what it says here is that bone, this bone here, bone one, is affecting these vertices. Whenever I bend that bone, that's the vertices that are going to get stretched and bent around. Okay, press the A key to get rid of those. Back over here again, bone two, select. Bone two is affecting all of these guys. Maybe you're saying, hey, there's a bit of overlap there, that's true, there is. Okay, so each bone affects a little bit beyond it, but these ones here, whenever I bend those, will affect that one. That one, when I bend that, will more affect the bottom part. Okay, the next bone here, which is bone 3, but I forgot to press enter. Okay, press the A key. It'll affect those guys. Okay, that's what happened when I clicked the automatic thing on the control P panel. Right. Okay, we're going to leave it there for now. Okay, and we're going to come back to some more evil stuff. More complicated stuff, I should say in the next session.